without receiving him. Uh huh. You know what you know I'm saying? Say? So we, how can you love without God who is love? So they're going to try to take on his characteristics without him. Wow. So I, I want us to be deceived. The word of God is going to be the most paramount thing. It already has been for all of eternity. But even more so, people of God, I don't care how much you think you know it, crack open that book and eat the word of God. Amen. Get a word you don't need now in your system. Yeah. Because you might not need it in this season, but the next season, the Spirit of God, the Holy Ghost will bring it back to your remembrance. Just go ahead and stock up, store up the Word of God, because you're going to need it in the days and the weeks and the years to come. That's the difference between faith and hope. I'm, I'm going right in. That's the difference between faith and hope. Even a lot of believers, even a lot of believers are functioned by hope, but not by faith. We think because we're saved, if we hope for it, it automatically falls under the category of faith. No, faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. So hearing the word births faith. The word of God births faith, not ambition, not hopes, not frustration. You can be upset, so this is not happening to me again. By faith, that ain't going to happen to me.